Hi everybody, with the latest patch to um, DAISY and the servers, you can now control access to your Nitrado private DAISY server, whether that be for Xbox or PlayStation, using something called a whitelist instead of only just the password. So previously, if you wanted to control access to your server, you had to uh, add a password to it and then distribute that password to, to the players who you wanted to be on the server. Um, the catch with that, obviously, is if that password got leaked to other players, they could then have access to, to that server. Now, you did have the ability to, and do have the ability, to have a ban list as well. But what we've now got is we've now got a white list. And a white list means that instead of just using a password, or instead of a password, you can have a list of users who are authorised to get onto that server. So there's no danger of someone passing the password to someone else because if they are not on that white list, so obviously a black list is a ban list, the white list is a permitted list, then they just simply, they'll just simply get kicked from the server. Now, I'm using the Nitrado mobile app to kind of show you this, um, but if you, use the, if you use the web uh, system, it's just the same. You just go to your services and click on the server you want to control. So let's go to, uh, say, my PlayStation server. And then all you do is you, you just want to go down to uh, server settings. And then you'll have all the normal stuff, you know, server name, uh, server time, uh, password, all that sort of stuff. And you can actually get rid of the password if you do this. And all you do is you come down to the bottom. So there's the ban list you can see we've got there. And then at the bottom, we've got white list. So all you do is just make very carefully... <laughs> <laughs> make a list of the usernames of the people you will allow on your server. Very careful, because if you get the spelling wrong, or you get the syntax wrong, or you add a space in or a capital where it shouldn't be, they're not going to get on and you're going to have some very annoyed people. In fact, one of the best ways to make sure that you're getting it right, beyond, obviously you can ask people, say, well, what's your, what's your name? Is to actually, if you go into your, um, if you go into your log files, you could open up, say, a recent log and this shows you exactly what people's usernames are so there's you know this is what the server recognizes their names are so you can you can take them out of there and uh, I would guess if you had two uh, two tabs opened up in your browser you could copy and paste this stuff across as well and then you would go to um, go to go to the uh, server settings and you would put their names if I, I what I would probably do is I would open up a log file copy and paste their names into a text file um, and then copy it into the whitelist down below. And then there you go. It's only the people on that whitelist who would be allowed on the server and everybody else would get kicked off. Nice and easy. Much more professional way of doing things and negates the danger of that password getting out of there into the open. And people, for example, if you ban people, them simply coming back with a different account because they know the password and jumping on and then having it, your access to your server and causing hassle that way. So there we go. That's how you can control access to your server with a whitelist instead of a password. Or and, I mean, you can have the password as well if you wanted to, I guess. Um, but again, I'll leave that up to you. There we go. If you've got any other questions or comments about Nitrado private servers, whether that be for the Xbox or the PlayStation, stick them in the comments down below. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon.